Hi, in this video we're going to show you a way to uh, securely send documents to other people uh, using a method that will actually encrypt them. And then it's also good for, you know, compliance purposes if you need to have proof that you sent these documents securely. Uh, it's just a quick little add-on you could use for um, Microsoft Outlook. So once you have it installed and you go to a new email, you'll have the Share Simple button here. So if you don't know how to install add-ins, you click on Get Add-ins. And you can look for Share Simple. And then you could install it. And like I said, when you do a new email, you'll have this option here. So uh, once you have the email ready to go, you can just put in the recipient here. Let's put this down here. Like so, then you click on the Share Simple button. You'll have to log in the first time uh, with your Microsoft account here and allow it permission to uh, access your Outlook information here. Then you also have to make sure you sign up for an account. So if you don't have an account signed up, you'll be able to do it before you use it. And you get a 14-day trial, and then it's five euros a month, which is about five bucks uh, after that if you want to keep on using it. So if it's something you're going to use a lot, you might want to check it out. So I figured we'd just give you a quick overview of how it works. Then you could try the demo yourself and see if it has all the features you need. Okay, so now we have our mail composed here. We just click on share data or request data. So if you want to request an encrypted, you know, secure file, you could do that. Or if you want to share one of your own files, you could do that. So we'll click on share data. And you could drag and drop or browse. Let's say we're going to do this private document here. You can see it's in the list there. You could uh, delete it if you want. Then you could also add a secure message. Add message. Oh. I guess you need a subject there and a message. Okay, and then you could edit it or delete it from here too. And then you could give them download only or, you know, download, which will let them download it and do what they want with it, or a view-only option. Then you could also use uh, SMS authentication where they'll get a text message and have to put in a code uh, before they could download it. And here's this, who it's being sent to. And then you just click on Done. And now it says you're ready to go with your message here. So I'm not going to type anything else, so I'll click on Send. Okay, now I'll go over to the email who we sent it to. So we got this private file, do not share. And you got the same looking interface here. So click on download files. Now it says, this person sent you two files, confirm you're the right person, you'll need a password. So send the password to my email. So the one time password. And if you had the SMS option, you'd have to do the uh, text message code too. Agree to the terms here. And then you could download it. All right, and then you could look at it in the folder if you want. Puts it in your downloads by default unless your browser is set to something else. And that's it. So now let's go back here. Also, when you go to the uh, new email and then share simple. You could, you could log on the website and look at this stuff too, but you could also do it from a new email. Uh, you could go to the admin section. Uh, any users that you've added, if you want them to be able to use this uh, feature. Logs, uh, stuff that you sent. You have a folder option, shared folders, user folders. Uh, the consent messages, you could change or add your own. And then of course you have file storage settings and company settings. So uh, when you share a file, the default seven days, that'll be the link will be active and then requested uh, options 32 days for that. And then you could also add SharePoint and Azure integration if you want. So once again, that's just a, a quick overview of how it works, just in case it's something you need for your business purposes, you know, uh, just to make sure you have proof that you're st sending stuff securely and that kind of thing. You know, for five bucks a month, it's not a bad deal if you're going to use it all the time. So check out Share Simple in the add-on section. 
and then you could download it, sign up for a 14 day trial. You don't have to put in a credit card or anything, just, you know, your name and uh, phone number, I believe. And then you should be good to go. All right. Thanks for watching and be sure to subscribe. Thank <laughs> you.